what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Kendall and here we talk about all things makeup and all things makeup related and as you can tell by the title, today is a good old fashioned lip swatch video. I bought 11 of the new Urban Decay totally revamped Vice lipsticks. I have them in all the formulas, the gloss, the shine, the cream, the matte. I'm going to give you all of my thoughts and opinions at the very end. Uh, so the bulk of this video is just going to be me trying them on. Uh, I had someone comment on my last lip swatching video I did that was like, We don't need to see you sit there for five minutes tilting your head in every which direction. Put on the lipstick and move on, sister. And I'm so sorry, honey bunny, but that's why I have timestamps down below so that you can just go to the one you want and you don't have to sit through me doing this with the lipstick shade on. I just wanna make sure people out there that wanna see the color, see the color. Sorry. Anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the swatches. I see her walking down the avenue I guess she blew my mind Down and down I trip and fall for her She's pretty as can be There's people to the left and right of me But she is all I see In her pretty dress Her pretty summer dress She's pretty as can be in her pretty dress Her pretty summer dress She looks so fine to me <clears throat> Excuse me, miss Can I tell you that you're pretty as can be? She looked at me and laughed for a little Now I'm happy as can be Pretty dress, oh pretty summer dress She's pretty as can be In her pretty dress, her pretty summer dress She looks so fine to me, oh my This summer dress is pretty as can be And now that pretty dress That pretty summer dress She wears it just for me Pretty dress Oh pretty summer dress She's pretty as can be And now that pretty dress That pretty summer dress She wears it just for me There's people to the Left and right to me, but she is all I see In her pretty dress Her pretty summer dress She's pretty as can be In her pretty dress Her pretty summer so dress She looks so all fine the colors to me. I personally own There are so many more to choose from But obviously you do not need every single color I probably didn't need the 11 that I got But I... Oh my gosh, you guys, I love them all so much. So first things first, the color that I have on right now is oat milk. And as you can tell, it looks very different from how it did in the swatches. That was because I paired it with a lip liner. Lip liners completely changed the game. So oat milk was that very, very pale nude color, which I love. I'm so into pale nudes right now. Um, but it does kind of wash me out because I am very fair skinned. So I paired it with the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Caramel Latte. And that just gave it just kind of a more wearable look. It doesn't look as nude and uh, it doesn't wash me out as much as it would otherwise without a lip liner. That makes sense. You guys know what I'm talking about. But I really truly do love these. The formula is great. I honestly do don't notice a big difference between the mattes and the creams. Funny enough, the 
mattes almost felt a little creamier than the creams, which I kind of thought was a little weird. And since the shade Back Talk, when I put it on, I even like made a mental note to myself, like how creamy this felt on the lips. And it's a matte formula. Honestly, I wouldn't look too much into it if you're deciding between which kind of formula to get, because to me personally, I didn't notice any difference between the mattes and the creams. The shines, however, oh my god, those make your lips look so plump and juicy. I was so taken aback, especially that red one that I tried on. I think it was the 405. So the shines are shaped like this, and oh my god, they are not kidding around. <laughs> Honestly, I have nothing bad to say about these lipsticks. I have no critiques. The only thing that I'm not a fan of, the packaging is so beautiful, but for someone like me who's just like constantly like moving quick, I have to like figure out how to put it back on which uh, it's such like a stupid, like, do you know your shapes, Kendall, or no? But like, if you're in a hurry, you know, you're gonna miss putting it back on. Like, you can't just willy-nilly it. These are not liquid lipsticks, so they are going to transfer, but I will say they wear very, very nicely. I was able to eat and drink and it didn't get all over my face. Of course, a little bit transfers onto the cup or the straw, whatever you're drinking out of. But the fade on the lips is so nice. Like it's barely noticeable. If you are gonna wear these and be out and about, I would suggest taking it with you as I would with all bullet lipsticks. I know this is a nude, but as you can see, there is a slight transfer, but it's nothing major. Even with the dark colors, I didn't have any issue with it being all over my face and like feathering like I have with a lot of other bullet lipsticks. The gloss is amazing. I love how juicy it made my lips look. I actually don't have it up here with me because it's in my purse. I've been keeping it in my purse ever since I got it. It's been my go-to. I have no negatives really about these. I think if there's a color you like, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. I think there is a shade for everybody, every preference. I really hope they don't reformulate these again because I believe this is the third time that Urban Decay has redone their Vice lipsticks. So Urban Decay, by like literally the off, off, off chance you ever see this video, please do not reformulate. These are perfection. Perfection in a tube, I tell you. Do not touch these. They're chef's kiss. You did a great job. Just leave it. Leave it. Leave it. So those were the swatches and my personal opinions on the new Urban Decay Advice lipsticks and glosses. Uh, let me know if you've picked up any. Are you going to pick up any? I would love to know. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. And give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it. And that is it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.